What is up my beautiful momars and welcome back today I'm gonna be making DIY edible kinetic sand you guys have seen all sorts of DIYs online for making slimes and edible slimes So I was like why don't I just make some DIY kinetic sand because I love kinetic sand I'm gonna make four different versions and see which is the best version. Let's do this All right guys the first one we're gonna make is a hot chocolate kinetic sand All you're gonna need is this much flour. This is four cups of flour. This is a ton of flour I'm just gonna put that directly in like that. This already looks like kinetic sand, but it's not kinetic sandy enough yet. All I gotta do is add some oil to this now. About one cup. I guess you can use any oil you want. I'm using vegetable oil, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull that in like this. Ooh. Mix it all together just like this. So the recipe calls for one tablespoon of hot cocoa powder. So I'm gonna put that in there. But I think we're gonna actually need a little bit more. So from there, I think I am gonna have to add a little bit more of this hot cocoa chocolate powder. So I'm gonna open that up. Oh, okay. That's a good amount. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just use my hand now. Ooh, it smells nice. It's starting to feel like kinetic sand already. And edible. You know my favorite things, guys. I love food and playing with my food. What? This is awesome. It kind of looks like ground beef right now though, so that's a little weird. I think I gotta add some more chocolate powder. It looks like meat right now. So I have this Taco Bell meat right here. Let's see how kinetic sandy it is. It actually becomes like a nice ball. It definitely feels like a kinetic sand of some sort. It just wants to like squeeze. So when you're squeezing, it's like, ooh, it feels nice. I'm gonna see if I can shape it into different things. All right, so here's the Lego piece. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some sand in there. This is the ultimate test. Will the hot chocolate make a kinetic sand and make the shape of this giant Lego brick? What is that? It's supposed to be a giant Lego piece. Okay, let me try something smaller, like this little baby Lego piece right here. Here we are. Give me a nice brick of Lego. Here we go. Here we... Dang it! What the heck? One more mold. Okay, we're gonna do this. This is gonna be it. This is the one, guys. It feels very sandy. That's why I, I believe in it. All right, I'm just gonna flip this over. Here we go. Give it a little magic tap. Tap, 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 tap. And... Oh my gosh! What the heck? I got so excited, I was like, yeah, this is the one. And then the head just got stuck. That was a close one. Yeah, my Lego kinetic set, kind of. I'm gonna do a taste test of it, okay? So this is all chocolate, cocoa, flour, and oil. I don't know if it's gonna taste good at all. That's the nastiest thing ever. Oh my god. I thought it was actually gonna be semi good. Ew! What kind of edible kinetic scent is this? Ugh, I just wanna wash my mouth out. Okay, but I'm gonna continue this episode just for you guys. But it tastes gross. Do not try it, it's disgusting. Ooh! Ooh, that is satisfying! This looks like meat! I'm literally cutting up pieces of meat, that's so weird! Oh my goodness, that is so satisfying. Ooh, look at all that texture in the meat. Hashtag meatloaf squad, meatloaf gang, it's the new, it's the new Marmar t-shirt. If you guys want a meatloaf t-shirt, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Holy cannoli, this is so weird. In terms of cutability, that satisfying level of it, I give that like a 10. Taste, I give that like a negative 3. And then shaping stuff, I give that a 3. That was terrible. Brown sugar kinetic sand, okay? Kind of looks like kinetic sand if you look at it. Ooh, look at that. It's already keeping its shape just like kinetic sand. It's just moving like kinetic sand. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to put that much. <laughs> now that it's all mixed up, and I mix this bad boy together. It's like so liquidy. Okay, that's nice. It's definitely getting like stronger now. Okay. For what I can see, this one's holding its shape pretty well, but the ultimate test, I gotta get my Lego pieces. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Dang it, why is it so hard to make an exit? <laughs> Put a lot in there so it has like no room to mess up. Ew, it's so ugly. It's okay, I'm gonna make a Lego man right here. Put my connect sand in here. Yeah, I did it. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can cut this Lego man up with a knife now. Oh, yes. That was insane. That is so much fun though. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna do the taste test, okay? This has to taste better than the hot chocolate. Actually, I don't know at this point. I'm just gonna try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did anyone tell you edible kinetic sand tasted the lime? It is so gross. I honestly think it's a flower, it's like disgusting. Like connect sand level of this, I'll give it like a five. For making shapes, I'll give this one a five also. <sighs> On the taste, I give it like a negative two. It's so nasty. Hot Cheetos Kinetic Sand. <sighs> hot Cheetos, look at that. Pour these things in here. And this is where we blend up some Hot Cheetos to make the powder. Uh-huh. 
that is hot. That's hot cheeto -y. All right, I think I got some powder in here. I'm putting the hot cheetos in here just like this. It's very like connect sandy already. It feels nice. This is gonna be my favorite one. Just look at the color of this. A little bit less to the hot cheeto ratio. Nice, so that's a good amount. A little bit of oil. It's starting to look just like connect sand. Guys, I think this is working. What? Ooh, this looks very nice. Even though it's like kind of wet, it reminds me of like sand still. Mamma mia, I feel like I'm making pizza because I'm using like a pizza tray. <laughs> Amazing, it's just shaping up like really easily. Okay, mm, get real shoved in there. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna... Oh my gosh, it's so ugly still. Okay, I'm gonna shove all the hot Cheetos connect sand in here like this. Kind of, it's very disappointing. It's like it just like fell off. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Whoa, this one's like crispier. Okay, so the cut test on these, the majority of these are awesome. It's very addicting. Take a nice big bite of it. Okay, I like the flavor, but I feel really dry. <laughs> it's so hot, it's like extra hot now, and it's dry in my mouth. A rating, I would give the hot Cheeto in terms of shape, I would give that a five. Uh, in terms of taste, negative one. So it's better than negative three. Oh, this is gross, but I love you, hot Cheeto. It's a mystery kinetic sand. I don't know what it is. It is. What? Rice? It's rice in a bag. What? So it's very sticky. The shape factor is there. Did you guys know it takes like six hours to make sticky rice? So this person put a lot of love and care into this rice that is in front of me right now. I mean, it's kind of like kinetic rice if you think about it. Look at it. Put that in there. I'm gonna just add that oil in there just to get it a little bit less sticky. It's already getting there. Put my rice in there. This is weird. I'm putting rice in a mold. I never thought I would do this in my entire life. And I am doing it today. Then I'm gonna flip it over. Wow! It's the first one to make it! Wow! Wow! Sticky rice actually made that one. Okay, wait. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, what? <laughs> it couldn't get in the little holes, but it made the square part. I'm gonna put that in there like that. He won't go in. Like, sticky rice is pretty stubborn right now. All right, here we are. Whoa, we did it. Ooh, oh, it's a lot harder to cut, but it stays together. What? Honestly, I've never seen rice act like this, which I think is why kinetic sand is so cool because you've never seen sand act like that. I think it sticks together well and it cuts well. Let's see if it tastes good, come on. Extra oily. <laughs> It's like so oily. In my head, I thought it was gonna be like super sweet and delicious because that's what I'm used to having with sticky rice. But I forgot there's also like plain versions of sticky rice and that's what this was. So I stuck it in my mouth thinking it was gonna be like this candy like thing. Like, mm. It's actually better than the other ones because it didn't make me like gag. So I'll give this a three on the taste level scale. And then for shaping, I'll give that an eight because it actually kept the shapes. So like, look at this. This is a Lego guy, sticky rice form. So overall value of sticky rice as kinetic sand or rice sand, I would give this like a 7.5 to 8. It's awesome. This thing is so much fun and it's also food. So you legitimately can eat it with something. If you have something to eat like dessert or fruits or whatever, it's delicious. In terms of kinetic things, like this came the closest, I think. This one made shapes and cut, it tastes good. So I think this was the winner for today's episode. I tried four different ones. Let me know if you guys think I should make anything else in the comments below, like if I should make some other kind of like like metallic kinetic sand or something that's definitely not edible i don't know i might do it i don't know just leave comments below give me some thumbs up maybe i'll do it all right and i'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m for another new video <gasps>